Lactose is a disaccharide sugar found in milk and it's made up of two monosaccharides, glucose and galactose. Lactose can be broken down into glucose and galactose by the use of the enzyme lactase. The glucose and galactose produced is then absorbed into the bloodstream via the small intestine. Now almost all humans have the ability to digest lactose because they produce the enzyme lactase in their digestive tract. However, it is possible for them to lose this ability over time and not produce as much lactase and these people are known as being lactose intolerant. People who are lactose intolerant often suffer from cramping, excess gas and diarrhea as a result of the fact that bacteria in their digestive system feed on the lactose that's not broken down. Another organism that often suffers from lactose intolerance is cats as a result of the fact that after weaning their production of lactase decreases dramatically. However, it is possible to produce lactose-free milk by using the lactase enzyme to break down the lactose in the milk. Here I'll show you how this can be done in the lab using milk containing lactose, calcium chloride and a mixture of sodium alginate and the lactase enzyme. The sodium alginate containing the lactase enzyme is added to the calcium chloride. This forms small beads in which the lactase enzyme is immobilized. After being allowed to harden for a few minutes, a tea strainer can be used to separate the small beads from the calcium chloride solution. The following equipment is then used to bring the lactase beads in contact with the milk. So we'll have a syringe, some tubing attached to that syringe with a clamp on it, and some gauze at the bottom of the syringe to prevent the beads from getting stuck. The immobilised lactase beads are then placed inside the syringe. The milk containing the lactose that you wish to break down is then added over the immobilised lactase beads. After the milk containing the lactose has been left in contact with the lactase enzyme for two minutes, the milk is cycled through the syringe. The glucose concentration of the milk is then tested. Here you can see that after the first cycling, the glucose concentration is reading negative or no glucose. So what we do is we pour the milk back into the syringe to allow it to have further time in contact with the lactase enzyme and we'll leave it there for another two minutes. After the second cycling, you can see that the glucose concentration has increased. This entire process is repeated, testing the glucose concentration of the milk at the end of each cycling. Each time the milk is cycled, which means that the lactose in the milk has more time to spend in contact with the lactase, the glucose concentration of the milk increases. This is because the immobilised lactase enzyme has broken down the lactose in the milk into glucose and galactose. This same process can be adapted and used on an industrial scale to treat milk and milk products before they're available for consumption.